Yes guys, welcome back to another Sora video. Today we're going to be looking at 10 players that I think could be very, very useful for the Mbappe competition over this first game week and then beyond that for the midweek because the Mbappe competition runs this weekend, so game week 9, then game week 10 and 11. So there's a few players in here um, that might cover all three, but there's going to be rotations. It's going to be quite tough to, to really predict if you know one player is going to be able to play those three games in a row after international break as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm mainly focusing on this weekend, game week nine. Um, there's already 40, nearly 44,000 players in there. So, yeah, you know, I made a video yesterday going through the strategies of, you know, what I think it will kind of look like. And I think if you're going to be playing five commons, the goal should be just to win, you know, a raffle ticket, right? To, to put yourselves in the hat to win in the, you know, the actual competition. But there is, you know, there, there's actual prizes on offer as well for the top 500. Now, look, you know, if there's 50,000 entrants and only 500 get cards, like the chances are slim, right? You're going to have to score big, big points if you, you know, if you want to get into that top 500. Top 10% do win a box as well, which is pretty fun. So say if there is 50,000 entrants, so then top 5,000 would get a prize, but, you know, not necessarily a card. They'll, they'll just get a box. So yeah, I've identified 10 players I think could work pretty well um, on a bit of a budget. You know, they're all under £10 for this upcoming weekend and some of them might have fixtures for the midweek. And then some of them have good fixtures for the next weekend, so game week 11. So like I said, yeah, the Mbappe comp runs for three game weeks and you can win a raffle ticket in, in all three. You know, the more raffle tickets you win, the better chance you've got of, of you know, winning the, the, the competition in that sense and being chosen. So leave a like if you do enjoy the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are completely new to Sora, there is a link in the description of this video that will get you £50 worth of free market credits once you've purchased your first five cards from the auctions. Now... I've made a watch list over on Sora Data, um, and we're going to have a little look into each player um, and kind of identify, you know, prices, what I can expect from from them score wise. This is all just hypotheticals, of course, and just guesswork. But ultimately, that's all we've got to go off, right? But the first player is Iago Aspas. I know he's getting on a bit, but I think you can pick. Yeah, you can pick up his classic card for just under six quid, and they play Valladolid, who just got battered by Barcelona seven nil. Before the international break. He's already scored pretty well this season. First well, first two games of the season. He's got three decisives. Two goals and an assist. Last game he didn't really do too well. Away to Osasuna. You know if there's a penalty. He's going to be on it. And yeah. They're playing one of the worst teams in the league. In game week 11. They do play Athletic Bilbao away. Which is not a great fixture. So Aspas for me would be like a bit of a stopgap. For this competition. Like I would probably just buy him for this competition. Um, you know for this game week. Sorry for game week 9. And run him there. And yeah. I probably would lo look to offload him. Maybe for that second game. Because uh, yeah. Athletic Bilbao away doesn't really scream. You know a high scoring game for him but if you think he's going to score 80 this weekend for example right like let's say we think he's going to score 80 well let's times that by 1.25 because that would be roughly you know what we'd get 20 percent bonus for for buying the limited or playing the limited in the mbappe competition commons get no xp or you know there's, there's no boost on on commons it's just on the limited and let's say we get one with five percent bonus for example that would be 100 points so say if he scored 80 flat if we did have a 25 percent xp on top then yeah, he would he would score a hundred flat. So, you know, the, the way you've got to think about it is, say if this is the team I want to go with, if I was to play five commons, if I think Iago Aspas is going to score eighty this weekend, like that's his ceiling. Let's say he could score over that, but let's just say he gets to eighty, and Haaland scores ninety as a common. But I'm better off having Iago Aspas because he would score me a hundred with the limited bonus. Whereas Haaland would only score 90 because he's a common, you know, there, there's no bonus, there's no XP on that, um, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it, it's all about weighing up, you know, these limiteds that we're looking at, can they outscore the the best common, if that makes sense, in that position? That's all, you know, that's that should be what, what's in your mind here. Because, yeah, some people will just play a, a limited for the sake of it, just because it has the 30% bonus or 25% bonus. It'll be a minimum of 20%. It depends on the card XP. So yeah, you know, if we think Iago Aspas scores 80 this weekend, as a limited, that's going to bring you in 100 points, which, like I said, if you think Haaland scores less than that, it could be a good idea to, to bring in a limited forward in, you know, in the form of Aspas. Then we have a few Brighton players on, uh, on the watch list. I kind of looked at, at Brighton's next couple of games and Ipswich and Forest at home, of course, they don't play in the midweek. So game week 10 for the Mbappe comp, you wouldn't be able to play a Brighton limited because they don't have a game. So that is you know, somewhat of an issue. But I did identify Van Hecker um, and Lewis Dunk. We'll, we'll get into both. Brighton have started pretty well. 
I know there's no incredible scores here yet. I mean, 25 AA, 26 AA, but these are in games where Brighton haven't kept a clean sheet. Um, well, they did in the first game, sorry, against Everton, but in the, you know, the, the last two, they hadn't. So, like, his floor right now is, like, 20 AA. It, it kind of seems like. And at home to both Ipswich and, and Forest, I'd like to think Van Hecker could rake up some decent passing stats. If they keep two clean sheets, then it's obviously going to um, increase, you know, his score that way. Um, I'm sure you all know that. But, like, again, it's, it's the whole contemplation. Is Hakimi common? going to outscore a Van Hecker limited card. It kind of all depends on what you think Van Hecker can can score, right? Like, what is his, what is Van Hecker's ceiling realistically? The issue is, like, he has scored really well in the past. Like, he is capable of scoring 40 AA, 50 AA, 70 AA here against uh, Sheffield United. And, yeah, you know, Ipswich aren't as bad as Sheffield United were last season. So I, I don't really foresee that sort of score from him. But let's say, let's say he does get 50 AA. Well, then you're back to... You're back to like 85 points, basically. So if we go 85 times 1.25, assuming that we get a you know a limited version of him that has 5% XP on top of the 20%, then that's 106 points, you know, flat. Whereas like Hakimi Common cannot score 106 unless you captain him, but that, that's a different story. If, if you don't captain Hakimi, his max score for you as a Common is 100 there's nothing more he can score. So if you really think that Van Hecker can score 85 plus, then you know that is better point for point wise um, than than having the best defender. I'm not saying Hakimi is definitely the best defender for this competition as a common. It could be Trent. Like Trent, you know, there's definitely an argument to say Trent um, at home to Forest could be could be a really good play. There's an issue though with you know they've just played internationally. There might be a few rotations for some of these clubs. So. There is that element to it. I think if you are looking at some of the big clubs, just be wary that even for the commons that you're selecting, like be wary that there are going to be some rotations because a lot of them play in the Champions League, Conference League and Europa League next midweek for that game week 10. So there is definitely something to, to be wary of there. Um, and that's why I you know I like to look at a few players here at Limited that don't have that midweek to worry about. So like a Van Hecker, a Lewis Dunk, same for a Danny Welbeck. I know Danny Welbeck's getting on a bit, but I think you can pick him up for like four quid. Yeah, four pounds, 11 pence. Um, and he's already scored you know, three decisive so far this season, and there's a lot of AA to go with it. Like, this doesn't seem like a terrible a terrible play. Both games, obviously, at home, you know, you'd have to fancy him to get a couple of decisives here, and if he can keep you know, 10, 15 AA on top of that, then again, you're looking at maybe into the 80, 85s, depending on how many decisives he does get, if he gets them. Is that better than playing a common Haaland? Probably. Maybe. Like, we don't know, obviously, but this is just all the hypotheticals you, you'd have to run through. But, like, the good thing with these, or the good thing with playing a limited a limited card, sorry, is that their ceiling is just higher, right? If they have a 30% bonus or 25% bonus, um, at minimum it's 20%, of course, if there's no XP on the card. The maximum amount of points, or sorry, the minimum amount of points a limited could score for you if they scored 100 raw is 120 points if that makes sense, right? If Welbeck Limited scores 100 points, he will by default score at least 120, depending on how much XP that card gets. It could get up to 130 or even 135 with collection bonus. But yeah, the max is 135 points effectively. Um, and the minimum would be 120 if they score, you know, raw score 100. Whereas if these common score raw score 100, they're at 100, they're capped. There's no XP. So, you know, that that's where buying some of these limiteds or a limited for this competition could come in handy but you only want to really do it if you think they can really score like 80 plus because that then makes up the differential of not playing the best common version um, of that player's position if that makes sense and so yeah just keep that in mind if there's any questions please do let me know in the comments another forward option is Gaetan Perrin who plays for Auxerre they got promoted from League 2 to League 1 and they play Monaco at home, which is not like the easiest game in the world. And then Montpellier away. Like the fixtures aren't amazing, but he is dirt cheap. Like he's £1.60. He scored very well last game. He takes set pieces. Okay, he, didn't, he only played 66 minutes in that game and scored a 76. So they lost 3-1. Like they're not playing that well. Like I'm not sort of disputing that. I'm not saying he plays for a good team or anything. But he is a bit of an outlier on his team in that he's taking all the set pieces, corners, free kicks, etc. And his AA floor for a forward is huge. Like 22 AA, 16 AA. 16 AA. If he gets the decisive like he did last game, then you know you you're close to the 80s. And for for two quid, again that could be could be quite useful. The, the fixtures aren't amazing, but they're good enough to where like I can see Oxair scoring at home to Monaco. Like I don't think that's out of the realm. Same for Max Arnold. 
Max Arnold is £1.60 again, I think. Yeah, £1.60, one floor. He's been around for donkey's years. If you've been playing fantasy football, you, you'll kind of know about Max Arnold. But yeah, last game week, two decisives. Play CDM. Okay, 14 AA isn't like incredible for a midfielder. But if they're bringing in two decisives, you don't really mind it. You got a yellow card as well, which would have brought the all-around score down again. In the game previous to that, 18 AA. And that was. there's only been two games so far in the Bundesliga. Wolfsburg at home to Frankfurt. There's probably goals in that game, if I'm being honest. I don't know whether you know, Wolfsburg walk the game in that sense like i don't think it'll be a walk in the park but i definitely think if there's goals for, for wolfsburg max arnold he takes corners free kicks etc like it's the same old script with similar to, to perrin if they do get the decisives you know you, you're talking you know, really good scores for the amount that you're paying like i said is it better than using a a common de bruyne it all depends if you think max arnold can score above 80 85 90 even to 100 like that that's the goal with buying these limited like if you're gonna buy a limited to play in this competition you really want it to score like 85 plus like if you don't think it can do that then there's no point really buying it. You, you'll probably be better off just picking... Because you can pick any common card you want in the top five leagues. Like, the choice is yours. You know, you, you have reign to do whatever you like as far as, you know, the, the picks go. Um, and there's some good fixtures this weekend. Like, City play at home, Liverpool play at home, PSG play at home. There's some really good ones. And so if you think, like, the, that common card is going to score 100, you're better off just playing the common card, really. Unless you're going to buy, you know, a limited that you think can really push 85, 90 um because then that limited xp does really make a difference in the in the leaderboards next player is diogo jota now this is one of the first players that do have three game weeks as in like you could play him game week nine which is this weekend you could play him for the midweek which is champions league they're away to milan which is not easy and then they play bournemouth at home so liverpool have a really good um fixture run for the next three games for this mbappe comp then the issue comes though like is jota going to play 90 minutes in all three games probably not does he need to play 90 minutes in all three games to score really, really well? Maybe. When I say really well, I mean like 80 plus. Like if I'm going to buy a limited Jota, I need him to score 80 plus for me. He hasn't done that so far this season. And as you can see, he played 90 minutes for Portugal in their last game. Before that, 79, 72, 76. So he's, he's having a decent amount of games. His all-around score hasn't been great though, which is kind of worrying. So someone, someone like Jota, sorry, you, know, you need him to get multiple decisives to make up for like not having that good of a, an all-around score, similar to Haaland. So yeah, I'm not saying like he's the best option in the world, but he, he's an option in, in the, you know, I think he, he features in all three of those games. He might not, like, it depends what happens in, the, you know, that Milan away game, right? I think if, if Liverpool play Forest at home, they're two or three nil up, maybe, you know, at best case at 70th minute, then they'll start bringing off the, the big guns, bring on the, the subs, and then they'll probably be fresh for Milan away, you know, in that midweek. And so, yeah, the, the reason why I'm putting Jota in here is because he does have that sort of three fixture run, um, and they're decent fixtures. You know, Milan away is not easy, but Bournemouth and Forest at home for Liverpool isn't terrible and he, and he is nine quid like he is close to that 10 pound mark um but you're paying for quality in that sense like you're paying for somebody that does have three fixtures and he's playing for one of the best teams in the premier league so far this season so yeah there's definitely merit in you know mentioning him on the cheaper side of things we've got vincenzo grifo who's playing at bochum at home which is a great matchup they then play heidenheim away which again isn't a terrible matchup for freiburg he blanked last game they played by munich though so you can't really read too much into that they lost 2-0 they did beat stuttgart 3-1 and that's where he scored really well 75 points um there's only been two games this season so you know with these top five leagues there hasn't been that many games of course right the season's has just started so the data isn't really there too much yet but they have a great run in to be fair like even if you wanted to pick up a grifo and keep him for Five game weeks, like three home fixtures, Augsburg, Bremen away, St. Pauli at home, Heidenheim away, and Bochum at home. Not terrible. Of course, for the Mbappe comp, only these two games would count. They don't have a midweek, of course, but like his limited is what, £3.57? He's a decent player. Like he is capable of scoring really well. As you can see, there's, you know, hundreds in, in previous games and last season, 90s as well. Like th that's the thing. Like you only want to pick up these sort of players if you really think they're going to punch this, this weekend and score 90 plus i know i've mentioned it loads of times already but i just want to really reiterate that this is probably alongside robertson we'll get into him but of course akanji i think ake went off injured yesterday for the netherlands not that they play like the exact same position but of course they're in that sort of back three back four for city and you know pep seems to love akanji he seems to play most games his scores haven't been exceptional so far this season 38 aa is very good especially uh, with no clean sheets city play at home to brentford and then at home to Inter, and then at home to Arsenal. Okay, the Arsenal game's tough, but like, 
he then falls into that sort of Jota category of having three fixtures. They're all at home, which is ridiculous. You know, a, a limited Akanji right now is going for what? £7.50. Like, I'd like to think he scores pretty well against Brentford at home. Pretty well means for me, what, 40, 50 AA? Maybe like that. That's like his peak, I think. He hasn't really scored 50 AA for a while. 40, almost 40 there, almost 40 there. Uh, 54 AA at home to Luton. Like, you'd like to think City have a lot of the ball against Brentford. City aren't the best at keeping clean sheets. We kind of know that. So like, I don't want to say they guaranteed a clean sheet because they're obviously not. But we've seen here, Ipswich at home, still 40 AA. If he can nab a cheeky assist, maybe. I know he's not really known for that, but you know he, he can do it with his passing range. It's not probable, but uh, it seems like a goal is a lot more probable than, than maybe an assist going off his last sort of years worth of games he falls into that category of like you could probably play him for all three of those games i'm not saying he's going to start everyone i'd like to think he would but you just don't know with pep roulette like you are running that risk but he, you know for seven pounds 50 you could get a limited there that could score very well in in one of all, all three of those games and yeah he could be he could be an interesting shout and then we end on andy robertson should have three games i know he's just played for scotland uh 90 minutes back to back so you know I, i'd still like to think he starts this forest game he definitely starts the Milan game if he's fit. The Bournemouth game's a little bit, not dodgy, but you just don't know. You, you have to see what happens in these next two games. Like, we're trying to forecast things, you know, as far as, like, players playing before things have happened. Players get injured, and there's just so many things that can go wrong. So, like, prepping to say, okay, I'm buying Andy Roberts, and he's definitely going to play three games is just unrealistic. It could happen. But you shouldn't go into it thinking, if I buy him, he's definitely starting all three games because we just don't know what happens, right? Football's very unpredictable. But he's on the cusp of, of £10, £9.66 floor. Again, I don't, I don't have to tell you how good Andy Robertson is. We, we kind of know that. A very 100 capable player, though. Like, he is able to score 100 points. As I've mentioned so many times already in this video, that's what you want if you're going to buy a limited for this, for this competition. Like, it's a good comparison. Like, is a limited... Andy Robertson going to outscore a common trend. Of course, both playing for the same team. You know, that is an interesting comparison. Like, am I better off spending £9 on Robertson with a high... Because he's going to have a higher floor than Trent because of the limited XP bonus uh, that you would get for buying him. A limited Trent would, would be nice. <laughs> but of course, he's a, you know, a lot more expensive than limited Robertson. And that's why I've made this video. Like, the, these are budget options uh, to a degree. They all have different strengths and weaknesses, different fixture runs and you know a couple of them are, are maybe usable for all three of these Mbappe comps some might not be like some you know you might buy Aspas for this weekend he absolutely smashes for you as your captain he scores you a bucket load of points because he does have a good fixture and he scores a couple of goals or you buy a Brighton boy and they score 80 to 90 points or maybe even 100 and and that works out in your favor but then you'd have to re-evaluate okay if I really want to take the midweek seriously and buy a limited again I am going to need to buy somebody with a fixture because Brighton don't play in that game week 10 for for the Mbappe comp specifically so you know it could be a thing where you know you maybe buy a limited for this weekend you know it might not go as well as you thought it would and then you just revert back to playing five commons for the midweek. And then maybe you, you have another go on, on the next weekend. You don't have to play with a limited in every one of these three competitions. If you don't want or every one of these three game weeks. Completely up to you. There's some monster rewards in here. Like I'm not saying this is going to be easy. Like I'm literally telling you right now. The chances of getting in that top 500 is very slim. It's even slimmer if you only have five commons. Because people are going to have the same team as you. But with a limited version. So you know, is playing this competition on a budget worth it? Who knows? Like, we don't know. I'm just kind of giving you, you know, a few pointers to, to just kind of show you some of the fixtures uh, that some of these teams have and, you know, see if we can identify a bit of value there. But ultimately, the goal should be to hit over 400 points. Can you do that with five commons? Yes, you, you definitely can. You need 80 average from all five of your players to score over 400. Does it make it easier if you have a limited that can score well? Obviously, because they have more XP and they can score you more points. So, you know, it depends what your goal is. I mentioned that in the in the strategy video. If you really want to try and punch and get into that top 500 and win yourself a box and a card, then you're probably going to need to go out and get, you know, a half decent limited card to go with that. I'm not saying there won't be five commons in that 500. I'm sure somebody somebody is bound to pick five cards that basically score close to 500 points. It's going to be very difficult to do that because goalies just don't necessarily score 100 points that often. But I'm sure somebody out of the 50,000 people that play will you know score really well with five commons but you're just giving yourself a bit of a a bit, a bit of leeway basically if you are buying a limited that can score well as well because yeah they get more xp so yeah i probably said that a million times in this video and you're probably sick of me uh saying it but i hope this video has been of value to some of you guys um let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i hope you've enjoyed leave a like if you did 
and I shall see you guys in the next one.